All right, now joined by Evgeny Kuznetsov to talk about the Caps 2017-18 season and resulting playoff run. And uh, Kuzi, I mean, you've been through a few of these playoff runs and some, some disappointments for sure. Um, the first three, uh, four tries. What was it, what was different this year? What made you guys get over the hump? You, you might have had better teams uh, previous years, but this, these were the guys that got it done. This year, really, I, I really feel like we, we played a little bit different hockey than we played before in the playoff. And uh, the first couple of games, we don't get the results we want to get. And we don't really start thinking how they play. You know, we start more focus on our game, what we should do, how we're going to get success. And, you know, that game three in Columbus, we won that game and give us a lot of positive energy, good, good emotional. And, that's when we really start thinking how we should play. And I really think it's, it's about how you're going to play right now. And you say you, you guys play different. Do you have any examples of what you guys did differently or, or did better this time around? We don't change anything systematically, but yeah. uh, we did some lot of good things. You know, we, we put more pucks behind. We, we start out work those D and may not give you results right away, not like after a couple of minutes, but you build some, some momentum for the next guys, and then next guys build the momentum for the next guys. And I really feel like it's, it's not really defend easy against us. I know that you're close with a lot of the other Russian players around the league. When you finish the Columbus series, for example, you go through the handshake line. Do you talk to Bobrovsky or Panarin about what happened? Have you exchanged texts with those guys? Do they congratulate you? When, when, when you win the whole thing. Some guys did, yeah, they, they text, they, they said, good job guys, good, good, good year. And it's not easy to congratulate the guy when, when he get by you, right? And you need a little bit of time, but uh, I'm pretty sure the next year when we're gonna meet them, they will, they will say congrats for sure. When you think back to when you first came to the, to the States to play for the Caps in March of, what was that, 2014, I think. What's, what are your thoughts on your journey from there to here and, and the player that you've become over that period of time? I feel like that's, that day was, was yesterday. It's been quite a few years already and it was a fun, fun part every day and I have to change a lot of, a lot of things in my lifestyle and hockey and have to learn the language, have to learn so, so many new things. But at the same time, that's the fun part, you know, when when you have a chance to, to actually like change something in your life and when you see those changes working for you and it's always easy to, to learn some new things when when it's when it's actually working for you. What are one of the one or two of those changes? I mean <laughs> It's most of them the off the ice, you know, the the mentality, you know, the the life you have to live here, the all those, you know, like the the little little part of for you, you not even think about that. For you, it's just normal. You grown up here. You for you guys, it's just normal. But for us, it's totally different. Do you learn anything from the process of of winning those sixteen games? Do you learn anything about yourself or about your the group of you guys as a team? Yeah, for sure. I mean, some guys have the opportunity to play in the final right away, first or second year. Some players wait for those moments over 10 years, you know, some coaches wait so many years. And it's not easy to stay patient sometimes, but uh, when you stay patient, you wait for your chance. And maybe you only one one opportunity in your life and you have to take right away. And uh, you may not be ready for that, but uh, you have to you have to keep working and keep staying patient. So, so every hockey player wants to have the shortest possible summer. Now you guys actually have the short summer. How does that change the way you get ready for next season? And, and having won the 16 games, do you see now how hard it is to, to go out and try to do it again? Uh, but, you know, the, the physically, it's not, it's not hard, it's fun. Mentally, yeah, you you have to refocus every day. You have to you have to stay focused, and 
that's the good point, you know, for me, and I learned a lot in this year. And but at the same time, I don't think we need a long, long summer, you know. And and the more you play hockey, the the more you in a good conditioning, you know. And it's because sometimes in the summer, you know, you 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 work out hard and. It's not really the, the hockey shape, you know, it's more like a, like a real athlete shape and <laughs> it's, it's still fun. When, uh, <clears throat> when you think about um, your progression, the, the way it was when you first came into the NHL and the way you are now, I, I feel like coaches on other teams spend time trying to shut you down now. Uh, have, you, have you recognized that as you're... You're playing. Do you find that? Are you able to tell that difference when you're on the ice? Yeah, because like when we get prepared to the games, we we have a plan too. We listen what coaches tell us about their players, and I think the every every team doing the similar things. How they prepare to the game, they expect uh, some plays other teams trying to play on the ice. And when we focus more how we want to play, don't really care how they're gonna play. It's hockey, it's happening pretty quick and sometimes the, the, the other team's gonna gonna know what you're gonna do, but uh, that's what give you a little extra challenge when you have to change the those extra second you have, half a second, and you have to make decision on the ice. That's that's what's the hockey about. You guys started this journey like nine months ago, training camp mid September. When you think back, like it's thirty or forty years from now, when you guys are all at a reunion to, to remember how this all happened. What do you want? What do you want to remember the most? What memories do you want to, to, to be the first ones to, to come flooding back years from now? I mean, after you you lived in the cup, it's it's pretty pretty hard to to remember anything else. <laughs> it's just the one one thing in your head always. But uh, I really remember. How we work together with this year from from training camp, you know how coaches always keep saying the the same things. You know they they stay patient even when things not going well, when we're not winning games. They everyone was still still staying positive, and I really feel like in our locker room, it doesn't matter. You won the game, you lost the game, you lose three games in a row, you won five games in a row. It's always the same 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 emotional same. Same, same faces, same, same guys always smile, and same guys always keep, keep working, keep doing some new stuff. And they, everyone was so good in their role, and we, everyone was was doing their job pretty well. That's that's just unbelievable. You know, that's the probably biggest thing I'm gonna learn. You just have to stay patient, be in your role, and execute your role well, and trust the guy next to you. You're gonna to get to take the cup home to to Russia uh, for a day. What what are you gonna do with it? I don't know. We'll we'll bring probably the, my hockey school, show to my family, friends, and not gonna get a lot of sleep in that 24 hours. But uh, it's gonna be a fun ride for sure. Thanks, Dev. Getting Kuznetsov for spending some time with us on the Monumental Sports Network.